Hey mates, good afternoon. Here's the second video. Still at Hayes Arboretum on the west end. However, there's a particular tree that I wanted to point out. Because, you know, after seeing it, I couldn't help but to notice. Alright, so you may be wondering what type of tree this is. I'm going to give a hint. For those of you who know, uh, it relates to... The, it's in the name. It is a common fish that we find. Especially in freshwater. If you thought that this is American basswood, you would be correct. Now, first off, we're going to start with the leaf itself. So these leaves are rather large. I mean, since this is a mature uh, American basswood, these leaves, I mean, based on the length, I'm going to say this is probably about 8 to 10 inches long. And then width, I'd probably say about 6 inches. But looking at the leaf, kind of rem reminds you of looking at the shape of a heart. And a common distinguishing feature of the American basswood is you can tell towards the top or the base it is asymmetrical as you can tell or in other words the base doesn't completely match the other side of the stem but uh, another distinguishing factor too is if you look along the edge it is somewhat serrated too all right so moving on so we're moving on from the leaf we're gonna look at the fruit all right so here is the actual fruit as you can see they're kind of in large bundles right here as you can see kind of reminds you of looking at something like a chandelier for instance Usually among one uh, twig, there might be up to three. And these will mature as it progresses later in the summer. And it's commonly sought after by wildlife, too. So it's a, it's a very popular source of food, more or less. Yeah. There we are. Sorry, I had to wait a moment, you guys. It was a little too noisy, so I had to pause for a second. But yeah, that's what their fruit looks like. It basically suspends from the twig itself. And as you can also tell, you know, the leaves, it kind of follows like a zigzag pattern as well. All right. So now moving on to the actual wood itself. All right, so you can you can see it. The bark kind of has like a light, kind of has like a light grayish color. Like this is the one right here. This is what I'm talking about. And what's surprising about this wood is it's very uh, lightweight and it's odorless. So with it being so lightweight, uh, the type of wood or this wood is commonly used for necessities such as that of crates, you know, like food crates, or even making boxes, too, to store food. So it's a very, it's a common wood that is used. But then, as you get into the heartwood, so, aside from the surface, but the deeper you go into the heartwood, it is much stronger, stronger at the core. And Native Americans, back in the day, actually had a lot of uses for the heartwood of the American basswood. Uh, they typically used the wood for uh, roping material, mats, uh, even for, like, back in the day, their canoes, too. So it's a very, excuse me, it's a very durable wood, as a matter of fact. But yeah. That's the American basswood. And unfortunately, this tree, you know, considering some of its 
some of its lightweight characteristics, it does make it very prone to infestation, especially among the Japanese beetles. I'm sure many of you have dealt with those suckers. Uh, trying to think of an example. Uh, for those of you who may have grown uh, grapevines, for instance, you know, at your homes, you've probably seen them. The, they're probably like not bigger than maybe, I want it like in terms of length, probably not bigger than an inch long. And they kind of have like a green, gold color, more or less. And they, they just infest everything. So like for instance with grapevines, they'll practically try eating all the grapes. And in this case, they try going after the vascular tissue of this tree, as well as the fruit that I was mentioning just a moment ago. So it's something to, something to look out for if you ever have any American basswood. Because unfortunately, the Japanese beetles are an invasive species. So that's, uh, that's all I have on the American basswood, you know, fellow tree that I haven't had a chance to really do a video on. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll provide a couple of articles for your, any of you to read up further on the American Basswood. And, you know, just tell me if you have any more questions, just to uh, help understand the American Basswood a bit more. So, all right, mates, enjoy your Friday, and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks.